believe that we're, we're playing the same brand of soccer uh, that we have been. Um, early in the season, we had some key injuries. Uh, we were integrating several new players at some point in the season early against very strong competition. We had four to five freshmen starting, our new players in the team. And uh, it takes a little while to get used to our system and acclimate all the players on the same page. So um, I feel like we're, we're heading into the meat of conference play, um, some double games coming up against uh, Rhodes and Hendricks, and I, I think we're hitting our stride. Um, that being said, uh, Rhodes and Hendricks will provide um, strong opposition, and we have to come out each match mentally prepared and uh, you know, play our best stuff. I think we have a pretty balanced approach. Um, you know, we try to get forward as quickly as possible, um, constant ball circulation, um, owning possession of the game, really kind of playing on our terms uh, when we have the ball. And I think both uh, on the defensive side of things, I think we have the ability to press, and I think we have the ability to stay compact depending on the needs of the match. Goal. players uh, stick out to me. Um, I think two players that have played every minute of every game um, have been uh, Andrew Grothaus, our holding center mid or attacking center mid, as well as Christian Waglin. Um, Christian's been a left back or a left midfield for us and both are very talented players. We're excited there in the program and I'm excited to see what the future holds for them. Um, if they keep progressing and, and, and working hard, um, they could certainly be all conference players and, and maybe beyond that. Um, additionally, two, two impact players that we brought in, Hudson Fennell from the Boca uh, Academy program in, in, um, in Boca Raton, uh, has been a very effective player, very dynamic on the ball, both sides of the ball, uh, very athletic. Um, he unfortunately broke his nose and was out a few matches, um, but he's been a great contributor. And then another player who's been a little injury ridden was the Tennessee player of the year, uh, Gabriel Alvarez. Um, he's extremely dynamic, um, scored a ton of goals in high school. And, and I now think now that he's coming back from a couple injuries and um, acclimating to the pace of, of our style, as well as the standard of college soccer, um, he, he has been very dynamic as well. He scored the, the third goal against Swanee and, and has been threatening in most of the games he's played in. Um, you know, we can't take any team for granted. I think um, we, we play in a good league. Um, you know, Rhodes uh, is coached by a, a very nice guy, uh, Andy Marcinko. He'll have his team prepared. He's, uh, I think he's been in the league over 20 years um, and had a lot of success over those years. So I know um, regardless of, of what group he has, they will be very prepared. And um, Hendricks will, will also be looking for uh, the upset, I think. And um, that will be something we have to prepare against and, and uh, prepare for. So um, I think as long as, long as our guys uh, are tuned in and prepared for every single match, um, I think we, we, we should be ready to go.